I mean, there was no scripts to read, <laughs> which was amazing, which was, I mean, that just hasn't, that just doesn't happen, you know, because I guess um, in terms of, you know, jobs being pushed back, therefore there's the sort of, there's nothing, there's, you know, nothing extra auditioning, so because they've all been cast already, because they should be shooting. Um, so it was kind of amazing in the enforced break because you know it, usually in between jobs you're kind of reading five scripts a week or whatever and you know having to self-tape and all of that so there was very little of that apart from like audio stuff so I did manage to keep working a little bit in terms of you know radio plays audio books um but um uh but yeah not not anything like my usual work schedule which was um you know I'm I'm lucky that I know that I have stuff coming up so therefore money coming in so it wasn't um at some point so it, it, I was able to relax into the break but I think it'll be quite exciting when it does happen I trust that um you know insurance policies and everything and no one's going to put us in a position that they think is it's going to be the safest environment that we could possibly be in um so I think when it does eventually happen I'd be quite excited about it because I don't think it will be until you know next year at least so I think by then I'll <laughs> I'll be thrilled <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean I just I went into the studio this week to do an audiobook and I'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think I would <laughs> but doesn't everyone um no because I, I I mean I did quite a lot of I shadowed for like a week and a half when I was prepping for the capture so I shadowed um, a DCI at Hendon for a week, and then a few other um, female DCIs who had gone on, who had been on the fast track scheme, and it was fascinating being, you know, seeing it for, for real, you know, because I mean, I love crime dramas um, like Killing the Bridge, Luther, and uh, and Marcella, and and you know, so my experience of like detectives and policing was through them I mean, and actually it's very different in in real life like just the, the sort of the amount of the amount of cases that they're following at any one time and how actually if you move up the ranks it becomes way more managerial um you know I'd always questioned like why the hell do like female DCIs wear heels it always used to annoy me watching tv until I was shadowing and, I, and you know everyone dresses in office gear and wears heels because they're when you get to that level you're way more likely to be meeting lawyers or meeting a bereaved family than you are actually chasing down criminals so you know that all kind of made much more sense <laughs>